Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, the recipe that I'm sharing with you all today is my red kidney bean curry. Now, this is also known as lobia dal in Punjabi and also rajma in India. So let me run through the ingredients quickly and then we'll start cooking. So the ingredients you're going to need are one cup of oil. I've got 500 grams of kidney beans here, which I soaked for seven hours. This is the minimum. You can soak them overnight if you wish. That's entirely up to you. That will reduce the cooking time. I've got a jug of water to use as and when we need to whilst cooking. I've got two medium onions, which are finely chopped. I've got three fresh tomatoes, which I've diced and the following spices. I've got one and a half teaspoons of salt, chili powder, turmeric powder, garam masala, coriander powder, and I've got one bay leaf and a cinnamon stick roughly the size of my thumb. I've got a frozen piece of ginger and garlic here, three chilies which are optional, which have sliced lengthways, and fresh coriander to garnish at the end. So let's start cooking. So guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to cook lobia, which is rajma and red kidney beans in a pressure cooker. This is my pressure cooker. And what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm gonna remove the lid and I'm just gonna add the kidney beans, all of them straight in like that. And then in with the onions as well. The tomatoes. And all the spices. So ginger and garlic, salt, chili powder, turmeric powder, coriander powder and the whole spices as well straight in now my um, pressure cooker normally takes about two cups of water uh, you obviously know your pressure cookers better than anyone else and you add the water according to what your pressure cooker takes so I'm just going to add two standard mugs of water into that And I'm just going to give it a quick stir. Like so. Then pop the lid on. And I'm going to obviously put my pressure cooker on to pressure cooking mode. And I'm going to do this for 10 minutes because that's how my long my cooker takes. You obviously do it according to your times. Yours might take slightly longer. Just keep checking it in the meantime, in between, uh, because obviously every pressure cooker times vary. And I will show you how this looks uh, in 10 minutes. I'm now gonna turn my dial down for it to cook on pressure cooker mode. And I'll see you back in 10. Right guys, it's been 10 minutes and I'm gonna check up on this now. So first of all, we're gonna release the pressure. So that's dropped down now, so I'm just going to open the lid. So that's how it looks. And let me just show you um, just how cooked the red kidney beans are. So I've just got some here, as you can see and they quite easily break like that so that means they're cooked so all we're going to do now is i'm going to use my spatula turn the flame up high again and i'm going to add the oil into this now and we're going to boon this for about 15 to 20 minutes until all of the um, the onions and the tomatoes that uh, we've added are cooked down to make a really nice masala. And I'll show you how that looks once it's done. Right guys, I've been pruning this now for 20 minutes and this is how it looks after that. So all the, the onions and the uh, tomatoes have um, broken down really nicely to give it a really nice thick 
uh, masala, the oil has started to separate and come to the surface as well. Now, at this stage, I'm going to add my green chilies into this and also my garam masala and just stir that in gently. Now you can keep this as thick of a curry or as thin as a curry as you wish. That's entirely up to you. This is normally actually eaten with rice. So I tend to like to add a little bit of water to it. So it's got like a, a little bit of a runny gravy to it. So I'm just going to add one cup of boiled water into that, just like that. Just give it a stir one final time. And then I'm going to pop the lid back on again and I'm going to turn the flame up and I'm just going to put it onto a simmer mode on my pressure cooker and just allow that to simmer away for five minutes and then um, I'll show you how it looks. Right guys, coming back to check on this now. Uh, it's been five minutes, it's been cooking away. And you can see the oil has started to separate and come to the surface. So I'm now gonna close the hob and I'm going to add the fresh coriander, just right that on top and just give that a gentle stir. And at this stage, I will take out the cinnamon stick and the bay leaf. So there you have it guys. My lobia, which is red kidney bean curry is all ready. And I'm gonna plate this up and tell you exactly how it is. So guys, my lobia dal curry is ready and I'm gonna tuck into this now and tell you guys exactly how it is. Now I've just plated it up with some plain boiled basmati rice. Goes really well with anything. You can have this with brantha, uh, with roti. It's truly a very versatile sort of like dal curry. So yes. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. You literally don't have to chew the dal at all. The red kidney beans are super soft and it's so creamy. Wow. Mmm. They just melt in your mouth. Brilliant curry there. Super easy to make and it's really, really tasty, guys. Now, do try the recipe out. Yeah? I am sure you're going to love this. If you found the video helpful, do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. And also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at My Little Kitchen Recipes. I'll be back again with another video very soon. Till then, take care and happy eating.